Hey everyone, Trockster55 here, doing a review on the 10 to 11 Grand Emporium from LEGO. Uh, very detailed set. Um, first, uh, I'm going to get to the minifigures here. Um, it comes with five minifigures, plus two mannequins. Uh, so anyway, this is the uh, first minifigure right here. It is a... He is a customer... Um, he is a customer, and he's, you might be wondering why he's holding pants, and he has yellow pants on. He does not have pants on, he's actually naked. So anyway, he's just a customer, and then this guy, he's like a kid, he eats, he's, in the picture, he's like eating ice cream from the ice cream stand here, which I'll get to later. This girl is the clerk from the store right here. Um, she is behind the desk in the picture. This girl's another customer. You might be wondering who she is or what she's holding. My bad. Um, she is actually holding grocery bags. Or not grocery bags, but shopping bags. My bad. Um, and then this guy is a window washer. And he has a little washing broom, I guess. So anyway, mm, good minifigures. Now on to the uh, building here. I'll start with the roof. Very detailed, like, roof right here. I don't know what that's for, that flower thing. But anyway, um, here is a billboard. It has basically a Lego minifigure um, with a present right there and some lights looking up to it. Here's a very cool feature right here. This is actually a skylight, uh, which if you don't know what a skylight is, it's basically a window on the top of the building where sun can come in. And you can see all the way down to the bottom floor. So anyway, that's the roof. Um, uh, hold on, let me get this roof removed. Every part of this is removable. You can remove the roof, the third floor, the second floor, but except for the first floor, because obviously that. So anyway, I gotta remove this. Okay. Um, here is the uh, third floor. Uh, here's the third floor. Um, I'll start with the uh, chandelier right here. Uh, it's just made out of a bunch of like transparent pieces and it's hung up on that side over there. It's got a window right there. Um, and uh, this is supposedly the uh, toy section of the store. It's got a dollhouse right here dollhouse and a like two balls right here <laughs> and then this is a power scooter right here it can be removed and it's supposed to belong to the uh, boy right there all right let me fit this back in here all right so that's the top floor here and as you can see very detailed windows all right now let me remove this floor Alright, so uh, here's the next floor. Um, this is supposedly the uh, houseware and stuff like that. It's got glasses right here. It's got two green glasses and two clear glasses right there. And then it has a little railing. This, this floor is not very detailed, but then it has these two dishes. These golden dishes and my favorite part, the whole set, um, it would have to be the uh, escalators. They're very cool. The minifigures can actually stand on them. Take this little guy. Well, he doesn't do it, but... But anyway, they stand on those little pegs right there, those gray pegs, these. Right there. They can actually stand on. And, uh... This floor's got, um, flags. Right here, here, there, and there. They've actually got flags. Um on display outside and basically the same window layout as the third floor all right so uh, then I'll remove this floor and on to the third or the first floor this is the most detailed floor actually um, 
this is the most detailed floor. It starting off in the corner, we have another escalator. Um, uh, this is the cash register and the jewelry box. It can be removed. Uh, here's the jewelry box. It's cool. Jewelry in there. Um, and then <clears throat> right here is a changing room. This is actually where the guy, the naked guy goes. This opens up and there's a little bench down in there. Right there, that white thing. Um, and then right here on the wall are some pants. Purple and blue. Right here is some jewelry. And um, over here is some hats on display. This like top hat and conductor's blue hat, blue hat. And then as you spin it around right here, on the back side there is a little back door. Opens to take out the trash right here, I guess. And um, <clears throat> it also has a revolving door. Very very cool feature actually does spin and it does not move very well or it does not like come out very well so I mean it spins very well though and then also in here we have the mannequins we have like this fairy princess thing and this man in a suit okay so that's basically it for the bottom floor uh, now I'll do the outsides the part that it'll take the that'll take you the longest if you build this are these columns right here. You have to uh, like put all these pieces together, and then you have to put these rounded thingies over both sides, and then you have to put these like black pieces under these gray these tan pieces, and then tan pieces over it, and then you have to put these lanterns on them. So anyway, <clears throat> there's four of those: one there, 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 and down there. Um. Anyway, uh, this right here is a mailbox. I'll show you the features of the mailbox right here. It actually comes with two letters, the set. Um, and you can close up the mailbox and put the letters in. In that little hole. And in there. So yeah, that's a cool feature. Um, these little gray things right there, these little grates, they are actually street drain systems, right there. Um, and then there's a, uh, <clears throat> lamp right here, street lamp, and, uh, so, and then here, uh, above this we have two green awnings, and then we also have two more on the other side. Uh, <clears throat> and then this is one of my favorite parts right here. The uh, shop sign. Right, right here. Um, uh, shop. So yeah, and it's on this bendy piece thing right here. So anyway, we've already done the revolving doors on the inside part. Uh, these two flower pots right here. Very cool, very cool. Um, then we have this cool pattern on the ground, this uh, sidewalk. Very good for um it's it's very cool and then last part right here we have two more green awnings two more of these columns um uh this is the ice cream stand it has like a freezer box here that you can open and little ice creams are in there i don't know if you can see that in there um so anyway that's the freezer box and uh it's got a little umbrella and a little cup and that closes and then here's a trash can and then uh that's pretty much it and well there's also these little pegs that you can attach your cafe corner your market street your uh your fire brigade and that stuff too um uh, these little pegs, and there's two on the other side also. Uh, let me show you what the minifigures do here. Uh, this minifigure right here, this clerk, can go right behind the desk. 
can go right behind the desk right here. Mm, never mind. But anyway, goes right behind the desk. And then uh, let me put this up here. Uh, all right, and then <clears throat> you can put the window washer, the window washer right here, and you can stick in on the window washing platform right here. And there's this window washer. Is your window washer? So anyway, this is a uh, Chalk Space 55 with the review of the Lego Grand Emporium by the set, 10 out of 10. It's about $150 US, I don't know how much England, or English, or pounds, but um, anyway, uh, bye.